And then go ahead, Kadeem, then Sahaja. Hey, Kadeem. Hey, Greg. How are hey, you? Hey, how are you, man? Uh, well, thanks. Thanks so much. I'm like, I've been following all of your, I'll say I'm a part of your YouTube ministry. Between, <laughs> you know, and Astara, I'm following right, right. Watch everything on YouTube. But I was like, let me, let me come in today because I have a specific question. Yeah, yeah, fair way, man. So uh, I recently had, um, did like some like invisible braces, you know, some of these startup companies, yeah. invisible braces and stuff. Anyway, yeah. that, that did not go very well. So now my, like mouth is messed up. I have gum disease, bone density stuff, and have oh, sensitivity. Wow. Okay. Comes. So, you know, kind of going back and forth with the dentist about that, but I'm um, thinking about what I can use. And the first thing I thought about might be like myrrh for. Actually, a very good choice. Like um, myrrh or um, uh, cypress. How about your jaws? So I'm curious, are you having any problems with your jaws? Um. The jaw itself, no. The dentist did say that my jaw now is not center, whereas before it was centered, but now it's right. not. So that might be maybe more of a structural. Like thing. a little bit of a misalignment. Yeah. Yeah, bummer. I know. Okay. Um, so, you know, like I'd probably have you on like rotate like three things. Like um, I think mayor is an excellent choice. Mara will, will do uh, a lot of things for like calming and soothing things, reducing some pain, um, just overall gum health. Um, Cypress is a good way to detoxify. And like if there's any sort of um, issues with like uh, the receding gum lines or inflammation in the gums, are any of the teeth like getting kind of loose or anything like that? So it doesn't seem like it's getting loose, but the dentist did say that there's a lot of like gum diseases and bone density stuff. So it's okay. funny though, because I have been, miss, I'll, I'll say it almost feels energetically like the teeth right. getting loose, but physically there's like no looseness. Okay. So the, the thing that's nice about the cypress is it will detoxify and it will firm up the gums. You, you know, like, like if there starts to be like, because the gum can recede like up, but it can also like kind of move away from the tooth mm -hmm. and it will firm all of that up. And given, plus it's just a great detoxifier. You, you know, like what, one of the things that I'll do sometimes is I'll put like, like three or four drops of cypress on it and then rub it on the roof of my mouth mm -hmm. and it's like we don't realize how much stagnant lymph can get up there but cypress is is a very good like um the uh, lymphatic you know stimulant it, it's good for accumulations and things especially in the mouth the other the other thing that i would probably have you do is um a little bit of marjoram as like a mouthwash, you, you know, um, if you could even handle like taking a drop or two and just like rubbing it on the gums, like real close to the teeth. And the reason being that like um, the, the marjoram will increase the blood supply and increase blood supply to the bone. And so it can slow some of that down and, and sometimes even stop it. Now, there's also an herb that if you go on Amazon, mm -hmm. um, and we can maybe send you a link, like we'll go through and find it, um, uh, and it's called Solomon Seal. And Solomon Seal is, it can be used for bone density issues, like like it's a, it's a very old school herb, but it's what you would use like for really like nasty broken bones like because it just it firms up the bones really really quickly and kind of strong and and with a bone density thing going with all that movement and everything i mean it's not quite a broken bone but it's still the bones got stressed you know and so um i would i would try doing that as well i usually have people do um uh three capsules twice a day of that and it's not forever like but i'd say for a few months and um there are there are some tinctures of it like there's a couple companies making the tinctures but i i always found that the tincture wasn't as strong as the capsules so i i I'd go capsules with this got it great so that's yeah. what 
The Solomon seal. And I guess the other yeah. three, the myrrh, cypress, and marjoram, that's just... Taking yeah, and them each individually. Like, you know, the myrrh, you can take in pearly and, like, rub on the gums. I mean, that actually feels kind of good. Uh, the cypress, you could do as a mouthwash or rub, like, on the gums and on the roof of the mouth. Marjoram, I would do just as, like, um, um, probably a mouthwash, but I'd probably do, like, four or five drops and really, like, almost like, you know, how you do... Um, what's that thing called Pull, pulling but just do it with like water if you want to do it with like um sesame oil or coconut oil you could do that but you just kind of you know you just keep moving around in the mouth and then eventually just spit it out it's a way to kind of uh detoxify the area but you're really trying to get some of those essential oils into the to the gums and in the in the mouth perfect great thank you yeah. so much i appreciate yeah, it yeah good hearing from you you too and then 